the speed here on the busking amp we are taking this 8809 voice of music which is modular in that that was the way it was designed by voice of music it's got the holes drilled all over it to make it just be able to mount in a cabinet like this it's made to do this so our idea was to use this face plate so we've cut a hole right here where we think we're going to mount this our face plate isn't we didn't really measure before i had made this so now we're looking for something else to use so you kind of see where we're at now we're at the stage where we're going to mount this inside here and get our measurements of where our face plate goes how much depth there is in this cabinet so that's where we're at as you can see there's plenty of room in here we've measured we're now uh we're gonna try to fit that in there I'll show you what it looks like. Remember that these are going to be floating. They'll be mounted on a face plate. The amp then is mounted below this line here, below this line. So these are are wired to the amp body itself, like as if a console mount. So then all our controls will be on top here. The amp will be mounted just right below that. Um, so you'll see what I'm talking about when I get into it here. So we have to take this amp apart to do this. What I'm talking about is this whole cabinet, top cabinet of this amp comes off. We're gonna have to tear into this. Get this case off here, go through the whole amp. First thing we're gonna do is loosen each one of these and this one. And we possibly will have to drill that out or we'll have to cut that out. We're gonna replace it with the regular input. All right, let's do this. We'll see if we can get this with just easy tools here. Uh, surprisingly enough, all four of those came off. Nifty little shouldered bolts that Voice of Music uses. All right, next step. As you can see, it comes loose just as I said. And we'll get it all apart. We're going to have to cut that cable which we're not going to use anyway. And we're about there. That's the wire loom for the whole entire control set. So you can see how much room we have. We got a little bit of room. All right. Now we mount this part of the chassis in here. That's the next task. We're getting there. Looks as though we've had a little startup fire. Guess we're going to have to attend to that in next week's Wednesday's Gear Revival.